Hey guys, Eli here and on today's video I want to go over some of the silver pieces that I actually bought from my coin shop today and we're starting now. Guys, if this is your first time here, please leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing and comment something down below. If you guys want to join the Urban Wealth Creation Discord, get free stocks or even see some of the equipments I'm using, make sure you guys check down in the description below. So you guys know how I feel about silver. I don't need to explain that. I've been buying silver for the past couple of years, matter of fact, I'll say four years now. And if you guys wanna know why I'm buying silver, you guys can definitely check out some of the videos of my channel. But today I wanna go over some of the pieces that I actually received from the local coin shop. And I actually did it in a cool way. When I woke up, I actually seen silver prices around $23 an ounce. And I called my coin shop and I was like, hey, I want you to lock me in at th this price. I'm gonna come here with about $300 and I want you to lock me in at this price. And the reason I say that is because it's so Sort of like short selling silver to be honest with you and you you locking it at, at a price at a certain price and of course silver went up but the bad side about it is if silver did go down like let's say silver went to twenty dollars all in the span of two hours then i would have to buy that silver at 23 dollars at the price that i locked it in at so i was able to lock it in by the time i went there silver was about 24 11 something like that and then of course I got it at $23. So that's a, a method I never told you guys here on this channel. So you got a freebie there. So make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoy that little freebie. But of course, you're gonna have to talk to your corn shop to see if they will do something like that. So let's go over to the second camera that I have over here and see what kind of pieces that I get. So as we're taking a look, we can actually see that I got like about 50 dimes. 50 dimes and i got about five kangaroos i could have sworn it was seven i think i left two pieces in the car but i could have sworn it was seven but i may be mistaken it's probably five who knows and the good thing about it is i actually believe that i got these at a great price so these are kangaroos if you guys don't know let me see if i can get it a closer look at the camera for you guys without the light being there i may take some pictures and show it to you guys as well so you guys get clearer pictures of what's what i actually have but it's about five of the same coins that i decided to get so you guys know how I've been buying my silver. The only thing I'm actually buying right now is I'm actually buying either constitutional silver, which is 90% silver or junk silver, because I can get these at a, a bargain price, uh, especially relative to spot price. And I'm actually getting coins. I'm not right now, I'm not actually into generic rounds or bars. And the reason for that being is because I feel I get much more value when it comes to the coins that I'm buying. We all know that coins retain more of its value. And especially, to be honest with you, as a silver stacker who's been stacking for the past, let's say, four years, I'm kind of spoiled, and somebody mentioned it to the um, to me in the comments as well, and I'm kind of spoiled buying silver at $15 to $16. So at these prices, like, I would have more silver right now at those kind of prices, but since I'm not, since we're not at those prices right now, I am limited to the amount of silver I can actually have. I actually set a budget, and I'm sticking to that budget, a weekly budget that I set for myself now, I actually already exceed my goals as far as the amount of silver I do want to get for 2020. And I did make the decision that I was not going to buy any silver anymore. But with everything going on in this pandemic and everything that's going on in the world today in 2020, I just feel like we're, we're you know, where we're cutting so much money, we're printing so much money as far as the stimulus and talks of another stimulus coming. I just feel like inflation is going to run wild in the future. So I feel I want to get my money protected by putting it into silver so i see silver as a way of saving my wealth now if you take a look at history you'll find that silver and gold for that matter is a great way to protect yourself from inflation now i would love to buy gold but but the fact that gold is around two thousand dollars an ounce and silver is around twenty five dollars i believe anybody can afford some silver now one of the reasons i'm focused on constitutional silver or junk silver or whatever you may want to call it the reason i'm focused on it is because even though it only contains about 90% silver, a lot of people recognize it, which means that they hold their value very well. Now, some of the downsides of actually owning constitutional silver is that there's a lot of wear and tear going on to it, so you may lose some of the silver content over time. Now, as you can see, I got me some Roosevelt dimes, and I also have some Mercury and Barber dimes mixing all this as well. Now, a great example I can show you guys is if you take a look at this dime right here, Let's say back in 1964, because that was the date that this was actually made. It says 1964 on it. Now, if you go back to 1964, let's just say a loaf of bread was actually three of these dimes right here. Three of these dimes, right? 
Now, of course, nowadays in 2020, we do know it's not 30 cents to actually go buy a, a, a loaf of bread, correct? Let's say it's just $5 to actually buy a loaf of bread today. Now, if you take a look at these dimes, these dimes are actually worth about $1.74 right now, which means I got about around $5 to $6 in my hands with these three dimes. So that's one of the reasons I'm actually focusing on silver as one of my asset class that I'm actually putting my money into. I've said it plenty of times before, money over time will always devalue. So I always wanna focus on assets such as gold and silver that maintains its value over time. And that's one of the reasons I like buying these things. They're just so awesome and easy and cool to play with. Like, look at that. Stack them up, do whatever you want, knock them down. But to be honest with you, I'll just most likely just keep it in a safe somewhere far away from my home, of course. But to be honest with you, that's pretty much it. I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me know some of your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and if you guys are actually interested in becoming a member of the Urban Lifestyle channel, make sure you guys check down in the description below. Thank you for the support in advance and have a beautiful day.